Good morning, John. I'm headed to the University of Montana. You can see it down there. To see a cool thing. That's where I'm going. Whoa. Eee, okay. Hi. I made it. You did. This is Callie. You may know her from youtube.com slash eons. Mm -hmm. This is Tuna. Who makes SciShow? Most days. <laughs> oh. You got your name on the door. I do. So where are we? We are in the University of Montana Paleontology Center collections room. And this is the collections room. It's back there. I mean, I'm looking at this table and like at least half of the things are not fossils. You the keep room the is fossils mostly fossils. In the case. Okay. What's your biggest fossil? Probably that jaw upstairs. The upstairs jaw yeah. that you can't fit anywhere else. Yeah, it doesn't fit anywhere else, <laughs> but in that case upstairs. Look at it go. <laughs> Obviously, I try to keep the heavier stuff on the lower level. Let's do this one. These are all bits of mammal, uh, mammoth, I mean. Uh, they are mammals. These are like tips of toes. Oh, it's lighter, way lighter than I expected. Yeah, so this is all like in the thousands of years old. Does that make it lighter? It does. It, it, there's less time for the mineralization process oh. to occur. Uh, these are horse, horse bits. A bunch of horse bits. The horses we have here now mm -hmm. were imported yes. from Europe. Yeah. But we did have horses once. Yes, and we then did. We, we had them. the OG horses. Horses started here yeah. and then left mm -hmm. or and died. died. So the weird cutoff date for a fossil is 10,000 years, right? It's completely arbitrary. It's just like oh. somebody was like, 10,000! Well, a lot of the big charismatic megafauna was extinct by about 10,000 years ago. However, mammoths hung on until about 4,000 years ago in high Arctic islands. Oh my God. So that means when the Great Pyramids so, of Egypt were being built, there were still mammoths hanging out in the Arctic Circle. This is so cute. Yeah, it's a little antler. Was it a baby or was it just really little and cute? It was a little dude. I think they might have been saber too. Teeth. Like, like the saber, deer. like tiny saber-toothed chihuahua deer. I can't even imagine. There was so much cute stuff. Right. All this yeah. stuff was living, breathing, had cells well, and you blood. Know, and, you, you never know? think about like saber-toothed kittens. They had to have been yeah, just right? like stupid cute. There's little teeth. And their teeth of isolated teeth of rodents. Rodents. Yeah. How is that different from just sand? <sighs> Microscopes. My favorite. Specimen. Your favorite specimen in the whole collection? What? Uh, up there, top five. So on the outside, you can tell that that's a fossil, but when you cut it open, it just, look at the pattern. It's just so neat. It's either a sponge or a hadrosoan. Oh, okay, so it's like a soft thing. Mm -hmm. But that's... it had an internal structure. Do you have any poop? Do we have poop? Yes, we have poop. No Triassic poop, I don't think. I can't believe you don't know where the turds are. I know, and I just got them out the other day. Oh, that's not turds. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> Hey, I got my poop. We have some really amazing soft body preservation. What is that thing? <laughs> it's like it looks a, terrible. It's like more like a hell warthog. What well, sounds worse? The top part was what was eroding out. You can, like, it uh -huh. has lichen still on it. And then you asked me about oldest specimen. Is it bacterial mat? It is. Yeah, that's so cool. From Australia, of course, and it's like 2.75 billion. This is what life was. So weird to think about what Earth was like when it was just a... Just a when... baby. Yeah. <laughs> a few months ago, Callie, my friend Blake, and I started a YouTube show called Eons, which is basically the story of all life on Earth. But walking around this museum with Callie, I realized it's different for her because she spends so much time with these objects. I got to see her see past the bones into the animals and organisms as they lived in their ecosystems in the deep past. And I think that really comes out when she's talking about this stuff. Thanks so much to Callie for the tour. And if you want to check out Eons, I promise it is fascinating and weird and amazing. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.